Hi everyone, uh, just a little video today to clarify the point of cooking your vegetables in the halogen oven. Now basically rule of thumb is if it grows in the ground, i.e. potatoes, carrots, parsnip, turnip, sweet, you pull it out of the ground and the bit in the ground is the bit you eat, then you just pop it into the halogen oven, spray a little bit of oil on it. If it grows above the ground when it's grown, then you need to pop it into some foil with a little bit of uh, water on it to steam it. So without further ado, I'm going to get on and prepare these and then I'm going to show you what we do. Now what I do is I prepare my potatoes, I slice them, and when you slice them, if you have a potato, try and slice it into three because then it gives this edge here, which helps them to cook better. Then I just parboil them for about 10 minutes until they begin to crumble. So they're parboiling nicely there. I also parboil the parsnip and the carrots. You don't have to. It depends whether or not you like your vegetables soft. We do, so I parboil them. You want to save a lot of time, you can just pop them in as they are, but they might be a bit more crunchy. So that's down to your, uh, your personal choice. Now over here you'll see I've got the butternut squash cut up and here's the uh, broccoli and what you do is you cut off your floret and then if you if you go like this down the stalk that will help it to cook. So do another one like this, so you're going to cut them up quite small and then you make a little square in the end, it will help them to cook. Equally that's the same with your cauliflower. So cut them into smaller florets and then you can pierce through the stalky bit, make a little bit of a, of a squash, just to help it to cook through. So now this is ready now. I'm, I'm, we don't need any more than those, just the two of us. So I'm going to give it a little bit so to make sure it's clean. And then I'm going to pop that into the foil. And then that needs to have some water sprinkled over it in a minute. So I'm going to do exactly the same with the cauliflower. Give it a little bit. And again, pop that in there and then that's going to need a little bit of water. Okay, now heat your halogen oven to 200 degrees. I was asked the other day why to heat the oven because surely someone pointed out we're just not, we're just heating the top bit. But you're actually heating the bowl so that when you put, put your food in, the bowl is nice and hot because it will seal in the flavour a little bit better. So you'll see, I've already put a little bit of vegetable oil in, not a lot, because I don't want to give us too much oil in our diet. And then I'm going to use the Fry Light spray oil along the top. And I'm also going to sprinkle with my seasonal just to give it the flavour. Now if we go back over to the potatoes, they're parboiled now. We turn those off and you'll see they're nice and squidgy. What you have to do is to get really nice potatoes, drain your water off. and then you, you distress them. So basically you rock them about. Don't go too mad, otherwise they're gonna crumble. But you just rock them about and it just gives it that little bit of um, a crumbly effect. Now this is nice and hot, and as I've said, we need to heat it through so the bubble is nice and hot as they go in. So now we need to pop these into here, but be careful, don't splash yourself. Now the trick is to make sure you get a little bit of the oil over all of the potatoes. So I'm just going to try and do that now, get, all the, get them so they've got some oil. And I've got the spray one cow to pop on in a minute, so I don't want to overdo it on the oil, I'm trying to look after our bodies. Now, this sounds a bit mad, but I have all my potatoes going the same way, and then that way when I turn them over, they're all turning the same way, which sounds a bit mad, but I've always cooked them like that, so that's what I'm going to do today. Carrots are parboiled, again as I say, you don't have to parboil your carrots if you don't want to, it depends how you like them. Again, I'm going to bath them in the oil already. Well, I've drained off the parsnips, they're going to go in next. I'm going to keep them in their little compartments over here as though much as though they're in a strainer. I'm keeping the water that I parboiled the parsnips and carrots in because I didn't add any salt and then that'll make a basis for my gravy. And then that just leaves me to add the butternut squash in the middle there. Now there wasn't quite enough oil left so I've given these a spray of the one cow. I'm just going to give the parsnips there ago so that's two or three sprays I've given them and I'm going to sprinkle some of this over it all but this is we like this flavour so that's because this is what we like you don't have to do this 
and then I'm going to pop this back on and start to cook them. So that's off and running, 200 degrees. And now I'm going to get these little food parcels ready to pop inside. So now I'm ready to put some water in there because effectively we're steaming these and then we make them into a little parcel. Right, we've popped our little food parcels in there, squidged it all up. I'm going to cook them all at the same rate, the same time. As these brown off, I'll turn them over so that we get them brown underneath as well. Great idea for two people. Works a treat. Okay then, everyone. There we are. That We're halfway through cooking. They're coming along lovely, browning nicely. So now I just need to turn them all over to try and get the other side brown. So they're cooking lovely. I'm going to bring these in more into the middle so they get that nice flavour and they cook a bit more. But I've opened our little food parcels. These are beginning to cook nicely. So by the time the rest is cooked, these will be cooked. It depends how soft you like your veg, as I've said before, but that's coming along nicely. Um, put a little bit more water in if you feel that it needs to be steamed a little bit more if you're not happy with the speed it's cooking at. But basically that's fine for us. I'm gonna seal that back over. Gonna give the rest of the veg a little spray so they don't burn and then I'm going to sprinkle the good old seasonal on and then we're ready to carry on cooking. Okay then, so here we are an hour later, they've been turned a couple of times, you can see that they've all got a bit muddled up in there as I've turned them over but they're ready to serve up now. We're looking at our little food parcel here with our broccoli, that's looking good, you can see that that's cooked, yeah that's lovely. So there you have how to roast your potatoes in the halogen oven all at the same time and then you've got your collie and you've got your broccoli and your, all of your root vegetables in there. So I hope this has some use to you and answer some of your questions about how we go about doing it. If you want your vegetables softer obviously you parboil them, if you don't and you like them crispy you know you don't cook them as long or don't parboil them. So thank you for watching. For all of our videos, visit our home health website, derriton33.co.uk. Thank you.